Senator, as a, a veteran of a, a post-election legal battle for your Senate seat, I'm wondering what you think of Joe Miller's decision to sue the Murkowski campaign. Uh, you know, at some point, I, I, first of all, let me step back. I understand Joe's frustration. Uh, I'm listening to what he's saying and saying, well, they didn't use the same standards. There were standards used to count ballots that weren't counted on election night that uh, are now being counted. I, I had some of those concerns in, in Minnesota on a much, much, much closer race uh, in which all the ballots that were counted on when they were all count election night, I won. Uh, when they were recounted, I won, but the ballots not counted that uh, changed the out on election night that ultimately changed the outcome. I, I understand his concern, but, and I'll, I'll just be very straightforward here. I mean, I think that race is over. I, I think the counting's been done. Uh, I'm not sure there's anything that would change that. I made a decision in my race with, with Franken at a certain point in time. I said, okay, let's not go any further. Could I have brought it to the Supreme Court? Yes. I think at a certain point in time, you have to have some finality to these things. And so I made that decision. That was my decision. Without criticizing Joe Miller, I, I would offer him uh, advice. I think it's the same advice that Fred Thompson and, and others have offered recently. And uh, I, I think it's, you know, it should be time to move on, uh, that there's not much that you can gain by extending the process. It's, it's been extended. Uh, they've done now this, this count of the absentee ballots. Uh, probably time to, to, move, to move on uh, rather than him initiating a legal, another legal proceeding.